In order to end the day properly, it's important to rely on the right evening routine. It's not enough to start the morning with a regular routine. The evening routine is usually just as important. It allows you to review the day and bring closure to its events. The evening routine ensures that the following night of sleep will be restful. For this, you need to find a way to achieve a balance between a productive reflection and getting your mind racing. In today's video, you'll learn what aspects to consider in your evening routine. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Psychology in Mind, activate the little bell, and get ready for the videos we upload for you every day. Number 1. Stop Consuming Food and Media At least two hours before you go to bed, you should stop stuffing foods like snacks and sweets into yourself. You should also stop eating late-night meals. The problem, then, is that your body is busy digesting the food during the night. This leads to you not getting a proper night's rest and staying awake longer. The intake of food serves to refuel energy. However, you do not need this energy during the night. Eating late at night would have exactly the opposite effect on your body. Only drinks are allowed. You should limit yourself mainly to water. A glass of wine is not forbidden, but you should not drink too much alcohol, as this would also disturb your night's rest. To avoid going to bed hungry, your last meal should be no more than two to three hours before you go to bed. This way, you still have enough energy for the evening, and at the same time, you are not too full to sleep peacefully. However, abstaining from consumption does not only apply to food, it also applies to filtering your information intake. Therefore, you should avoid engaging in things that make you feel agitated or excited. This applies to movies as well as books or stimulating conversations. Your brain is otherwise too busy trying to cope with the flood of information so that your thoughts do not come to rest. Again, Make sure you get two hours of rest before bedtime. Read a relaxing book or watch a light movie. This will make it easier for you to wind down in the evening. Number two, learn from the day's experiences. It's important to take a few minutes in the evening to review your day. This is where you should analyze your experiences and see what you can possibly do better and what mistakes you may have made. Work through your experiences and look for constructive solutions. If you adjust your routine a little more each night, you will notice great results after a short time. Don't underestimate the impact of small steps. 10 minutes a day is enough to look back. Ask yourself what you experienced that day and how you can possibly do better. Also ask yourself what you missed that day and how you can compensate for it in the future. These fixed questions can initiate your evening routine from now on. Think back to moments that were perhaps not so nice. Maybe you got angry with someone or got into an argument. It is important that you forgive these people in the evening, because if you continue to get angry and allow the negative emotions to exist, they will continue in your mind and keep you from a restful sleep. Even little things are enough to deny you your relaxation. You can't change things anyway. Realize this and find closure. Make peace and look forward. You don't just have to forgive others, though. You also have to forgive yourself. Maybe you disappointed yourself and didn't meet your expectations. Don't let that get you down. Think about what went wrong and how you can change it next time. Use this experience as a learning experience. Holding in anger and piling up dissatisfaction is not only unhealthy, it doesn't help anyone. On the contrary, it interferes with your evening well-being and healthy sleep. Forgiveness is therefore an important keyword. Number three, set decisions for the next day. It's enough to take five minutes in the evening to set two important goals for the coming day. Ask yourself what you want, ask yourself what you want to do the next day and what you want to accomplish. It's not about how exactly you're going to get there. It's about setting the bar. Once you have those things written down, you should not think about them any further. Everything related to them is part of the next day. As you sleep, they will solidify and thus lay the foundation for the next day. This way, you can wake up in the morning and start your day with concrete goals. 
Number four, take time to relax. You should get into the habit of relaxing in the evening. There should be a so-called trigger that signals your body that relaxation mode is now starting. Establish some important actions that you repeat every night that signal your body that it is now approaching bedtime. This can be making up your bed, laying out your clothes for the next day, or preparing your meals. You should disconnect from all electronic devices, turn the lights off or down low, and head to the bathroom. Afterwards, get under the covers. If you repeat these procedures, a routine will be established and your body and brain will be trained and programmed accordingly. Automatically, you will fall into a state of relaxation as soon as you start these exercises. One of the events provides the prelude and is therefore your trigger. But why is this so important? Not every day goes according to plan, and things can happen that upset you or throw you off track. That's when it's important to have a set evening routine and be able to switch things up immediately with the help of a trigger. Number five, charge all your devices. Before you go to bed, make sure all the electronic devices you'll need the next day are plugged in. It can be very annoying and stressful when you wake up in the morning and realize that your battery is almost dead. To avoid this, you should prepare your devices in the evening. Today's conclusion. If you follow these steps, reduce your consumption as well as review your day, forgive people and events, and define new goals for the next day, relax and prepare your electronic devices, you will see that you will have a relaxed night and can start the day fresh and rested in the morning. You'll find these routine steps quite simple to implement and yet enormously effective. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Did you find this information helpful? Do you have experience with it? We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. For more resources about mental health, self-improvement, and psychology, visit our website. You'll find the link in the video description where you can also connect with us on social media and sign up for our email list. Take care of yourself and have a beautiful day.